Hi everybody, in today's video I am going to show you how to change out an LED module in your traffic signal. So, the first step before you remove the LED module, you will want to unplug the power from the traffic signal. That way, when changing it out, you do not get shocked. You are messing with 120 volts AC, so that can be pretty bad. So, yep, always make sure you have your traffic light unplugged before you replace the module. To gain access to change the module, you will want to unscrew this wing nut and then open the door and you will have access to the circuit board slash wiring and the LED module. I currently have in a GE incandescent style LED module and I will be replacing it with this Dialyte dotted LED. To remove the LED module out of the housing, you will want to unscrew the module or the holding clips or whatever they are. And then you can take out the LED module. Next, you will want to remove the wires from the sequencer or whatever you have the wires to. Here I have it connected to a sequencer, so you're going to want to remove it from the terminals. And then you can safely remove both wires. And there you have it. Next. Here's the other module. You will want to place that in the housing. Just make sure all of these holders are out of the way before you place it in. And then, how you know it's fitted is that on the top, there is a little thing that says top, and it has a little mark, so you know if it's centered. This, I have it pretty much centered, so it does not have to be adjust adjusted. And at this point, you can carry on to the next step. Here, you will want to tighten the holders. This one I have to untighten because I never unscrewed this one. And then there you have it. The LED module is now installed. And all we have to do is put the wires into the sequencer. 
Alright, so this is one of our last steps. And now this, you will want to be careful as to how you put the wiring in. For this, the white goes on the right and the colored goes on the left. It will probably vary from different manufacturers, but I think this is how most of them do it. So you're, gonna, you're also going to want to make sure these are also, uh, the wires aren't, like, coming out. Because that can cause a short circuit, and it can damage the sequencer. So then you're going to screw that in. And then you're going to screw the colored wire in. And then before closing the housing, we have one final step. Before you power, or give power to the housing, or the circuit board, uh, you will want to check to make sure no wires are touching the terminals or other uh, wires. There are none touching and that is good. So you can now safely close the door and plug it in. Alright, so in one of our last, last steps I am going to put the wires in here, close the door, And then, you can safely plug in the traffic signal. And we have light. That about wraps it up for today's video. I hope you enjoyed my video on how to change out traffic light LED modules. So, it is pretty easy. And pretty self-explanatory, but for people who are interested in just getting into the hobby and uh, just starting to collect traffic signals, it's uh, something to remember and always a few safe steps you can take so you don't get shocked because just remember you are messing with 120 volts AC. So yep, thanks for watching and I'll wrap it up.